Michael Jordan's baseball career for the Birmingham Barons and the Chicago White Sox organization is incredibly underrated. It's a vastly underrated part of Michael Jordan's career, and I'm going to tell you why. Michael Jordan played baseball in high school, and I don't think he's getting enough credit for the fact that after winning three straight championships in the NBA, being the best player in the world and the most famous athlete of all time in 93, Michael Jordan left the game of basketball. He had done everything he set out to do, got rings, got MVPs, got finals MVPs, got Defensive Player of the Year awards, got all-star appearances, and he left the game at which he was on top to go to another dream of his in baseball. And Michael Jordan managed to play double A baseball for over 120 games. It's absolutely unheard of, except for a few athletes who are famous for it, like Bo Jackson. While Michael Jordan was playing double A baseball, he managed a 202 batting average with 30 stolen bases, 51 RBIs, and 13 home runs. Not to mention, when he first started playing, he started his career on a 13 game hitting streak at the beginning of his career. Anybody who's played baseball knows that a 13 game hitting streak is a very difficult thing to do. But here is the biggest point of it all. Michael Jordan hadn't played baseball since high school. So after multiple years of NBA training, Jordan went to a sport foreign to him basically. 14 years off of a professional level sport is just ridiculous. 202 is by no means a good batting average in baseball. We see better, the great players are batting over 300, average players are batting around 250, above average 275. Jordan's 202 is amazing after 14 years of not playing the game, going into an off season and just working his tail off over and over and over in the batting cages, as described in the documentary, enabling him to bat over 200 in a minor league that isn't nearly as bad as people think it is. For those who don't know, the way baseball minor leagues work, single A is the lowest minor league, double A is next, and triple A is after that. But what people don't realize is that the best baseball prospects play in the double A. They don't play in the triple A. The triple A is filled with mostly older players who aren't going to make it to major league baseball. Now, some of them do, but a lot of them are professional ba uh, baseball players who aren't going to make it to the bigs, similar to how we see some older players in the G League who don't make it to the NBA. So Michael Jordan is playing against pitchers who are throwing 90 plus miles per hour, throwing great curveballs, outfielders who might make it to the big someday, hitters who might make it to the big someday. These aren't scrub baseball players he's playing with. They're better than college players, they're better, better than single A players, and most of them are better talented than triple A players who eventually could make it to the major league someday. So for Michael Jordan to come from basketball to a sport that he hasn't played in 14 years, bat over 200, hit 13 home runs, 51 RBIs. Terry Francona said many AA players aren't hitting 51 RBIs. Michael Jordan did some of the unthinkable, and it's just a testament to how great of an athlete he really was to go from one sport to the other and then back to basketball. And then in just five games back to basketball, Michael Jordan drops 55 points when he's not even in basketball shape. I think Michael Jordan needs a lot more credit for what he did in the White Sox organization, taking that time off of basketball and being even just as good a baseball player as he was is something that most athletes couldn't even dream of. So don't dog him for his baseball times. Actually celebrate the incredible athletic ability that he had and realize that he is just one of the best athletes that we have seen all time.